Hi everyone, it is Tara from Dauphin Public Library, one of the libraries in the Parkland Regional Library System. We are located on Treaty 2 land, the traditional home of many nations, including the Anishinaabe, Métis, Ochiti Sequin, Ocha Cree, Cree, and Dene. Okay, so we are here with an art project, pretty interested in trying out. I've never tried it before. Yesterday I took out the book, The Organic Artist from the Library. The Organic Artist for Kids. And as I was flipping through, I found this. Pounded Plant Prints. So that is what we are going to do today. So it says what we need are flowers and fresh leaves and stuff. So I went out into my yard and gathered up what was in my yard. Don't go stealing from your neighbors. Um, there might be other public places. Make sure when you are picking flowers and stuff that you aren't taking too many from each plant because that will stress the plant out and possibly kill it. Looks like we maybe got a spider hitchhiking in here. So, um, no matter where you're acquiring your plant pieces from, make sure you don't take too much from any one spot so that you aren't hurting the plant. Okay, what else do we need? We need, it says thick watercolor paper. I don't um, so I'm just using a thicker paper that I've got at home. It says a cutting board. Ask for paper towels, but I'm, I'm gonna try using just a towel. It says painter's tape. Once again, I don't know where my painter's tape is. So I've got some scotch tape. I'm hoping that will work. Painter's tape would probably be best. You also need a hammer and what they asked for is a piece of felt to wrap around the hammer and then an elastic. But I couldn't find any felt anywhere in my house so I thought I'd use an old face cloth of mine. I'm not cutting it up. We'll see how this goes. And so then you just go like that to kind of cushion the head of the hammer. So um, I'm not sure if that's too much cushion or if that's the right amount. And I'm not sure if the flopping will affect it. Maybe I'll grab another elastic band and kind of tie it off so it's not flopping and getting in my way. And you need another piece of paper to put over top. So just any old piece of paper. Okay, let me just get things set up a little bit. Okay, so I've got my hammer ready. So we're just going to grab some of the flowers and I'm just kind of gonna test this out to see how it even works because I've never tried this before. I might try, I've got a leaf off my coleus. I wonder if that will make any impression at all. Maybe that's where the spider came from. <laughs> and I've got a piece of grass, a fairly long piece of grass. Um, or maybe I'll grab a piece off of the fern. Press that down gently. And then this is where now in the book, it says to also put the paper towel and then use the painter's tape to tape it all down um, so that things don't move around while you're pounding it with a hammer. And I can see why, because my tape just moved. Okay, painter's tape might be better. This scotch tape might not work at all. So. But I'm testing it out to let you know what works and what doesn't, I guess. This is not gonna work. 
Okay. Okay, even though I know mine is probably going to move around, I am going to try to do this anyway. You will want to secure yours more. So it says to start off kind of gently do the tapping around, just trying to get all the spots. Make sure you are not hitting your own hands. Now, if you had the paper towel, you'd be able to maybe tell where it all is a little bit better than I can. So it says to gently do it at first, and once you feel like you've got everything kind of down in its spot, then you can go and pound a little bit harder to really get the color transfer. I want to see how this is going. I need to peek. There's a little bit of color transfer with the leaf. Oh, big tip for this is you want to do this fairly quickly after. Not much color transfer there. Ooh, someone. The pansy. And oh, there's definitely some on that. Okay. Maybe just use one layer. Maybe I'm just using too much. This paper towel is thinner than my towel. I thought about doing this outside, but when I was trying to arrange it outside, my flowers wanted to blow away, but maybe you've got a spot in your yard so that you can do this outside and not create so much noise inside. Oh, I was giving you a tip. Um, make sure that if you're planning on doing this, you want to do it quickly after definitely the same day that you pick your flowers and leaves, because otherwise, they'll dry up and then the color isn't going to transfer. Okay. So of course you can spend more time on this. I'm going to just open this up and see. Okay. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Ooh, I like the pansy. Didn't get a lot from the fern, but I'm not overly surprised from that. So that's what I managed to do. However, I think if you're more patient and you're not doing this for a video, you can do some pretty amazing things. So that's a picture of what they did and then they actually like made a butterfly with theirs. So that's pretty fantastic. I think you just have to be patient and keep going a little bit longer. Maybe using paper towel works better. Um, maybe there's other flowers that work better, but you get an idea of what could happen. So go outside, do some exploring, find some flowers and see what you can create. Okay, so I did a little bit more with some other flowers off camera and I think, let's see. I also did it without the towel. I just pounded straight on the paper, which maybe isn't a great plan. I don't know. <clears throat> another reason, another thing, 
Um, the reason why they tell you to use thicker paper is because the juice from the flowers comes through. This is a dandelion right here. Well, it smells pretty. If nothing else, it smells really pretty. Okay, there's definitely some color transfer. Um, oh, the viola. Okay, the viola turned out pretty. Because that is now, that's imprint on that one. So. However, I'm kind of liking the look of these. So, might do another project where we do some pressed flowers. I did some more pounding of that. There was a little bit more color transfer. That is a blanket flower or whatever, I think. Hmm. I don't even know what I pounded that to a pulp. Literally a pulp. Um. <laughs> okay. So I'm sure with a little more patience, you will be able to, I, I kind of like that. That's pretty. And that is definitely pretty. I like those. These I maybe pounded too much. I went, I went a little too far with those. Um, I'm kind of liking a little bit of that. Okay. So that's it. I think I'm done playing with this. Can't wait to see what you guys create with your pounded flowers. Be careful, be safe, and we will see you in the next video. Bye for now.